So, something I like to do on this channel is to try new foods, because there's nothing quite like exposing yourself to a brand new flavor. Well, most of the time. You see, my last couple trying new flavor videos have been a little f***ing disgusting. In fact, I'm still trying to work through the trauma of the Bean Boozled video. But my therapist is optimistic I'll one day be able to eat jelly beans again. One day. But for this video, I wanted to do something that wouldn't be so much of a punishment. That's why I'm going to try making something that has to taste good, and that fits this channel's theme of being something new for me. I'm going to make what's called a Luther Burger, a cheeseburger patty with bacon sandwiched between two glazed Krispy Kreme donuts. It's quite possibly one of mankind's most ingenious inventions. But I also thought to myself, why stop there? Along with what I just mentioned, I'm going to make two more donut sandwich foods that could become my new favorite foods of all time. So stay tuned for those. With my ingredients for the first dish assembled, I find myself ready to cook. There we go, gents, ladies. Two perfectly cooked pieces of bacon. All right, so it says the next step is to cut the donut, which is gonna be kind of like the bun of this burger. <clears throat> okay, all right, so I've switched positions. Pay no attention to the ring light. It's not there. Okay, I'm just using it as a tripod, but it's not there. I don't even know what I'm talking about because there's nothing there right now. That's not bad. That's not bad. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's as good as it... That's as good as it gets, guys. All right, so we are back over here at the stove, and now we're going to do part of the recipe that's kind of concerning me. We're going to toast the buns. So I'm just going to use the same pan as before. I don't think it matters. Should it? I don't... It shouldn't matter, right? It's a beautiful day out today. Sun is shining. <sighs> Smells like cooking donuts. Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay, okay. The heat is way too high, I think. No! Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, so we're a little crispy, a little black. There's a little bit of black, which I'm not too happy about, but I think it's I think it's okay. You know what? I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin this if I go any further, so I'm just gonna stop it right there. And uh, we're gonna say that this is what the cooked donuts are gonna look like. It smells like toast. It doesn't smell like a Krispy Kreme donut anymore. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool off, and now we're gonna turn our attention to the burger patty, because that's what the steps say I'm supposed to do next. So we got our salt and our pepper. I, I, I think this is black pepper. It says black peppercorn, which I'm gonna assume is the same thing. I <laughs> really am not sure, to be honest. All right, so we've got our patty all seasoned up and ready to go. So on to the pan we go. God, could you imagine me one of those cooking shows where it's like a competition? Overcooked on the bottom, crispy as f and it looks like Gandhi's f What a shame. Shit! You know, it just dawned on me that I haven't been paying attention to the time whatsoever. It said three to five minutes, and... It's don't know how long it's been. I think it's been five minutes. All right, so now the cheese is looking melted, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut off the heat, and it's time, it's time to assemble everything. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, our donut cheeseburger bacon sandwich. This is the perfect, most healthiest option for anybody during their morning routine. <laughs> the moment of truth. Dude. Oh, oh my god. That's not bad. Wow. It's like, okay. It's like it's sweet. There's still the glaze on the outside of the donut, so it's got that sweet outside and bottom, and then it's got the meaty interior, and it really goes well with the sweet. But it doesn't stop there. There's the cheese and there's the bacon, and that's like an extra complimentary flair at the end of the experience. Wow. That tastes, that tastes like something you would buy at McDonald's. Oh, that's really good. I'm gonna go in for a second bite. Wow. Okay, okay, what am, what am I gonna rate it out of 10? 8.5, yeah, I'm going high on this one. I'm gonna say 8.5 because even though it looks good, gets points for the look, and it does taste good, it is really, really sticky. Like, I have stuff all over my hands, and I hate that, I, I hate that. But it's almost worth it, it's, it's worth the sacrifice in my opinion. Because yeah, you're getting all gunked up on the hands, but the, but the flavors, the flavors, it makes it worth the trip, worth the travel expenses, okay? Oh baby. It's time to move to my second dish, and it's something I admit that's a little bit of my own design. According to my blueprints, it'll require a cheeseburger, two Krispy Kreme donuts, and the addition of my all-time favorite food. 
pizza. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a go. Like a mad scientist alone in his lab, I begin to cook what I'm calling a Krispy Kreme donut pizza cheeseburger sandwich, or more simply, the Nickwich. All right, it's in there and it's cooking away. So I'm gonna get the most critical ingredient ready. That's gonna be this marinara sauce. I say let's pour this stuff in. That seems like enough. So the next things I need to get are, are also in critical ingredients. Everything's a critical ingredient to me, and that's the cheese and the pepperoni slices, so I'm gonna get those out. All right, so here's our pepperoni, and we've got this nice hunk of mozzarella cheese, which was like $5. This is what we're gonna put on, and it's gonna like melt over and create like a nice, a nice blanket. So we've got our cheese and I've cut it to the best I can into sort of like a, like, 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 like a sheet, you know, like, like the Kraft Singles from before. While I'm doing this, I'm going to try to cook the Krispy Kreme donut in, in a slightly different way. This time I'm gonna put it in the toaster and just, you know, slightly toast the ends. It'll be like toasting a bagel. Okay, the buns are done and they're looking pretty good. Oh my God, I made that. I made that. It's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. <gasps> it doesn't have much of a smell. That's okay. It's all in the flavor, okay? It, it, it's that's that's where all the energy is right now. That's how that stuff works. Oh, it's cheesy, it's sweet, it's meaty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd give it about a seven out of 10. Looks wise, it's, it, it is a little bit messy. Um, yeah, it kind of falls apart because it's like the donuts getting all soggy from all the, all the stuff going on. So now, having eaten that invention, we're gonna go on to our last donut thing that we're gonna be making for the day. And this is gonna be taking a step away from the burger aspect of things and going to more toward uh, like, like the, the icy sweets. We're gonna try to take Krispy Kreme donut and make an ice cream sandwich out of it. This one I'm excited about because I feel like it's the perfect dessert to sort of like this main course of stuff that we've been eating so far. It, this one's gonna take a little bit of time though. We're gonna assemble the ice cream and then we're gonna put it in the freezer for about four hours. This is the grand finale. I hope it turns out well. I'll, uh, I'll see you in four hours. I have to speak really lowly because it's been a little bit more than four hours. Right now it's about 1.15 in the morning and I'm really, really tired. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna do the wise thing at 1.15 in the morning and that's have a whole bunch of sugar. This is gonna end great, isn't it? All right, so here it is. This is our ice cream donut. I don't know if you can hear that. It's, uh, it's as solid as a rock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to take a bite of this and just, just relish the experience. Oh, look at that. Oh wow, look at that. So I'm gonna, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm already getting energy now, whoa, whoa. That's not bad. Oh my goodness. But seriously, this is really, really good. Now I'm awake. Now it's like it's one o'clock in the afternoon again. The bun, the donut part of it that's acting as the bun, it didn't freeze. It's actually still really soft. And the ice cream is really um, tasty too. This is, I think it's salted caramel. The, that combined with the, with the chocolate syrup and the sprinkles is just adding a nice, it's a lot of sweetness. It tastes like something I'd buy at, at Dairy Queen. The Krispy Kreme donut is really pulling its weight. Looks wise, nine out of 10. Yeah, it's a little sloppy, but it's like popping with color and it's just, it looks so edible. Am I gonna eat this whole thing? I think I'm gonna eat this whole thing. A little bit of brain freeze. Got a lot of, a lot of ice cream in that one. So what did I say? Look, nine out of 10, taste. 9.5, baby. I wish I could eat this stuff every day. <laughs> I wish this stuff wouldn't kill you. I'm gonna try to make more videos like this in the future because these are enjoyable. These are fun. This is this is fun, guys. I like not being traumatized by the flavors I'm eating. So yeah, that's my, my donut video uh, with the Krispy Kreme donuts. Hope you enjoyed. I had a good time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a shit ton of dishes to do.